Hello friends, Tony here again. Today's product is a straw item. And that item is the Proctor Silex Ice Straws. I found these Proctor Silex Ice Straws at Kitchen Collection for $3.99. I thought that was a pretty good price. They are on clearance. If you're interested in buying these, I will be posting a link for these down in the comment section and also in my description for this video. So when I found these Proctor Silex eye straws at the Kitchen Collection, I thought that looks like a pretty cool idea. Uh, I've used plastic straws in my own house from time to time. I don't use straws every day, but I do like to use straws now and again. So what it looks like is we have ice trays here that make ice straws. And from my understanding, all you're going to be doing is filling up these ice trays here and they're going to form straws for you. And then once they're frozen, I'll be able to pull these out and use them as regular straws. So I'll be able to put them right down in the drink and they'll not only work as a straw, but they'll sort of cool my drink, you know, on top of whatever ice I've already got in there or if the drink's already cool or what have you. Uh, then they'll add to the coolness of the drink. And if these straws do work at all, I'm hoping to get a little bit of usage time out of them. So I'm gonna unbox these things. And once I do that, I'm gonna wash them, and I'm gonna fill them full of water, and then we'll put them in the freezer, and then the waiting game begins. Okay, there's that traditional straw. We don't want that. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. It looks like there's no instructions or anything on the box, but there is uh, a little bit of instruction right here on the back. It says ice straw silicone mold tray. Just fill with your favorite juice, cola, water, or cocktail, then freeze and enjoy. 15 year warranty, dishwasher safe. And the mold is made of silicon, and it looks like we've got some plastic tubes here. So from my understanding, uh, I'm just gonna be able to fill this up with water here. And then once this is filled with water, ice is gonna form around these tubes and that will make a straw and then I'll be able to put this down in a drink and use it as the straw. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this thing up and then we're going to fill it and I'll freeze it and we'll see what happens. All right so I've got a bottle of water here and I've got the ice straws and I'm just going to put these back into place here. The metal straws sometimes come with this little um, straw cleaning tool so that when you're washing your dishes, you can clean the straws out with one of these. And that's how I wash these straws as I ran uh, one of these little whisk things through the uh, straws while I was washing them. So that's a good way to get straws clean. Uh, your metal straws are, in this case, these plastic straws. We've got the straws in their slots now, and now I'm gonna fill these slots up with water and get these things freezing. It's not taking much water to fill up one of these little slots. And these little water reservoirs don't take much water at all to fill up. Oops, spilled a little bit. Since it is made out of silicon, it's a little bit flimsy and which is no big deal, but whenever I go to transfer these to my freezer, I'm afraid that this is gonna be a little wobbly and it looks like it's going to be a little, yeah, see water's leaking out of that as I lift it. So I'm gonna to have to be very careful whenever I put these in the freezer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should lay these in the freezer and then you know pour the water in them like that. But right now I'm gonna try it like this and see how they turn out. And obviously these are going to take up a little bit of freezer space unless you're sitting them on top of a box or something, you know. Um, so I'm going to give them a try and let's see how they do. So I want to show you here, I spilled a ton of water trying to carry these things to the freezer. And then when I got them to the freezer, you can see here I've got them set up in the freezer now. And I spilled quite a bit of water just trying to get them in here. But then I went ahead and refilled them. So. So far, I'm not liking these too much, but we're gonna let them freeze and see how they work. 
So obviously if you uh, purchase these ice straws, you're gonna to wanna to have a lot of room in your freezer because you're gonna to wanna to be able to set the uh, ice tray or the straw tray in your uh, freezer and then fill it up with water because it's almost impossible to fill it and then carry it to your freezer. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and I haven't even got to trying the straws out themselves once they have frozen. Let's hope this gets better. All right, so let's check them out. Okay, here we go. We found the ice straws and they are frozen now. So let's take them over here and have a look. So we got six ice straws here. And I'm gonna try to pop one out and we'll see what happens. Okay, so there's one of the ice straws there. And you can see it's uh, formed around the tube there. So at first I was thinking that the uh, ice was just the straw itself, but it's actually the tube and the ice around it. So this is really just made to cool the drink off. So that's kind of cool. Uh, actually a little better than I thought it was. So I'll put this in a drink and take a drink with it and I'll let you know if it's any cooler or not. <laughs> I'm gonna put some Great Crush in the glass here. And doesn't that look cool and refreshing? So here I've got my ice straw and I'm gonna take a drink of this and see if it's any cooler and see if it enhances the experience. It does cool your lips a little bit. And it is it does seem to be cooler. So sucking this grape crush through an ice straw does seem to make it cooler. Refreshing. Okay, the ice straw, and I can feel it cool in this glass up too. The crush was in the refrigerator, so it was already a little cool. But this ice straw is actually, with the crush itself, is actually uh, gotten this glass very cold. So the ice straw does cool the drink off quite a bit. So on a hot day, I think this ice straw would be a really nice touch. And as I take a drink out of this, it is, it's ice cold. So it's kind of cool, it's kind of neat. So it is kind of neat. Um, do I think they're practical? Eh, kinda, sorta, I don't know. They're not super practical, but they're, you know, it's something, it's a novelty. It's kind of a novelty that actually works. So I enjoy the ice straw. Will I use them? Maybe you want to have a party or maybe on a really hot day, I might dig these out, you know, and use them. Uh, as a normal thing, probably not. But right now this Grape Crush tastes pretty good when it's ice cold stuck to this ice straw. Bon appetit. Folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to come back for future videos. Always remember to never lose focus and follow your dreams. God bless and until we meet again.